Farms in Kenya is set to commercialize biotech maize from March next year. Researchers at the Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization, CalRO, say the country has moved a step closer in adopting the improved maize variety, which is expected to boost yields and cut reliance on pesticide use. Very own Dennis Etienne has more on this week's Smart Farm. <laughs> From afar, this maize crop that has been undergoing trials since June this year at Kalro Kiboko Research Center in Makweni County may seem like a wasted crop. But a closer look reveals a different picture. James Karanja, a maize breeder at Kalro, confirms that this is genetically modified maize whose seeds will now be released to farmers from March next year, coinciding with the long rainy season. The technology is here only to help our farmers save that shearing that our farmer that has been using to buy the chemicals to spray and control against the insect. And also, will also save the farmer from the health, health-wise, because of the use of the chemicals. And also, we are also guaranteeing our farmer that the maize that we are going to get, it will be of the good quality. The maize variety has been modified to include a gene from the Bacillus thuringiensis bacterium that provides insect protection. It is expected to help farmers improve yields and control pests without chemical insecticides. Some of the technology that we use are not new. They are the technologies that our farmers have been using. If you look at, the, for example, the BT maize or the BT technology, this BT is just a bacteria that is naturally occurring which all of us, we know we have consumed when we have been eating the, the, the root tubers, the carrots, and also the sweet potatoes and the yams. And this is also a bacteria that has also been used by even our organic farmers in the control of the pest. So what do the scientists have done? They said, why can't we save the farmer from using the chemical the sprays and put that protection within the maize? According to scientists at Calro, cultivating BT maize has a number of benefits, which include doubling of maize productivity from 8 to 17 bags per acre to between 28 to 35 bags per acre, improving grain quality by reducing rotten grains and reducing the annual 4 to 12 million bags of maize imports. We are seeing a bright future because a country can only develop by an taking advantage of more modern technologies and therefore enhancing our productivity and uh, the country gets in value for the investment, the value for money. The next stage is for the developers, for this case Calro, to go to CAFIS for varietal uh, registration. Then from there, uh, I think what will follow is seed uh, bulking and then finally it is distributed to the farmers to, to cultivate. The recent move by the government to lift a ban on GM crops has elicited debate among proponents and opponents who have expressed concern about the human and environmental safety of the technology. Successful commercialization of BT maize will see Kenya join 29 other countries around the world that are already cultivating the improved crop. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV, Kiboko, Makweni County.